getting arrested, it's like you get completely humiliated. When you check in as a trans prisoner, it's like, what the fuck? What is that? Is that a man or a woman? I don't know what it is. The first time that I went to jail, to have to come into a facility where there's nothing but men, it was terrifying. It's intimidating, it's scary. Everybody is grabbing and pulling for any bit of happiness because there's none here. There's a lot of discrimination for transgender people in jail. But, you know, it's like kind of like we're celebrities at the same time. We're the only womanly or feminine figure they see. It's like Beyonce or Madonna or Marilyn Monroe walking down the tier. Everybody's gonna catcall or slur derogatory terms at you. That's somebody's son or that's not a woman or fag, queer, all the, all the homophobic words, you know? I've seen people fight. I've seen people get raped. Because of who they are as a trans-identified person in a predominantly male institution. We're all stuck here in a 12-person tank, and we all get on each other's nerves sometimes. Yesterday I was asleep, and they woke me up. <laughs> and I had to give a whole speech. It wasn't pretty, but we it all was, listened. It was all good. I don't care if it's your first time, your second time, <laughs> or your <laughs> last time. <laughs> you know, we get to know each other, both here and on the streets, because every time we get locked up, we end up coming right here to this tank. We're a community where we basically have street families, is just what it's called. I'm almost 30, <laughs> and I have more kids than I can count. This is definitely my child. This is my sister, Jessica, and that is my sister, Mrs. Gemini. Yes. That's my sister, that's my sister, that's my sister. That's my brother. Before I came here, I knew. Oh, we got to court today. Uh, Bath? That will be me. Good I could be getting mother. out within hours. Good luck, mother. Thank you. We spend all the time in the cell block. We never leave our little room, except for one hour a week to go to the gym. We don't get meetings, NAAA meetings. We don't get services. I just signed up for the Five Keys Charter School. And where other people get to go do it in a classroom setting, I have to come back here with the paperwork and do it by myself with no support. This is a picture of New York, because I used to live on the Lower East Side. And it says, whatever the world throws at you. And then uh, that's my calendar. I have some little quotes I put here. Families first, keep calm, and beauty is not eye of the beholder. I came back bearing gifts. Merry Christmas. I just got back from court, and I will be finally leaving this terrible shithole oh. January 7th. I'm a little apprehensive because, honestly, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Because I wound up here, I lost my apartment, and uh, I pretty much have to start all the way over. Traditionally, transgender people do not have a place to come home to. They don't have a family to come home to. They've received no support while they were in the system. One minute you're completely isolated from everyone, and then the next minute you're thrown out into this world and people gotta figure out where they're gonna sleep that night. The shelters are full, so it's highly likely you have to sleep on the street or just walk the streets all night. Even if my friend, you know, she's gonna let me stay with her, and she's using, and she's got a hotel room, it's highly likely that you'll get involved in whatever they're doing. And so the cycle starts all over again. Hello, Robin. Hello. We found you. Yes, you did. So what are you doing back here? Well, this is known as the blade or the track. Um, and I'm trying to um, catch a coin uh, or come up on life's uh, excitement since I can't uh, find any other way to uh, live right now. 
So average night for me, I dress to the nines, I come out, see the girls that are out, because it's a family. You know, I might get high to cope with, you know, having to do this sort of work. I do use every day, but I don't use every day all day. I can hold a conversation with you and, you know, in this uh, hooker game. My clients are businessmen from all over the world. This is pretty much my office. I'm sitting here, I'm using with another girl. When people judge me, I feel like I'm shit and I feel like I'm the scum of the earth. And that's why I felt very empowered doing this type of work because it makes me realize that, honey, people will pay to be in my company. Oh, there's my niece I was looking for. Her. You've met my daughter, now this is my niece, Brianna. You know. Uh, um, what's your name? I'm B Monique. Talk to me about Robin. What's Robin like? She's real fucking fish. She's a beautiful, mature, black, trans woman, as unlike myself. We've had clients together. We whooped each other before. <laughs> We've borrowed clothes. I've bought in clothes. She's bought in clothes. We share things. It's family. You want fam? Yeah. My relationship with my family is, it's hit and miss. Um, there was some acceptance issues with my mother. And I don't know how to interact with my nephews. Where are you sleeping right now, Robin? Oh, I've been staying with friends at various hotels. I feel like if I'm not coming to the table with something, I'm in the way. Oh, hi, Justine. Hi, That's my sister. This is my sister as well. That's this is my niece. And my niece as well. We're family. Right. I don't have family here in California at all. It's substituting my real family. My biological family, I don't fuck with them. They don't fuck with me. So I have my gay family. Me and my daddy don't go on. It's, it's, it's the point. We just don't. That's what fucks me up. That's why I do the drugs that I do. The drugs help me cope with the reality that I'm actually living the deal. life I'm living. I'm they a hooker. Life. I'm a transsexual. Processing. And on top of that, I have really dark skin. And people sometimes see that before Africa. anything else. I'd rather be getting high and having fun if I'm gonna be discriminated against. Fuck you, well then, okay, fuck you too. It's a vicious cycle. It's an endless cycle. I've lived it, she's lived it, I have friends that lived it. There will be girls that come after me when I am dead and gone that will live the same cycle. We're a tough bunch of bitches. Even in the midst of all the prejudice, discrimination, the dehumanization we experience, I've learned to love myself. My perfect future looks like me back in school, finishing my degree. It looks like me reunited with my family and me just being happy and content with the people that love me unconditionally. I belong to the oldest ethnic transgender community which is known as the Hijras. We say we are neither man nor woman. We are the third gender.